use the VLOX system on a Takauchi TL12 R2. This applies to the V2 as well. So, when operating this blade, you're gonna come into your machine, obviously lower your lap bar. You're gonna come over, gauge your, unlock your hydraulics. Then you'll come on this side. Wanna make sure that detent mode is on and that your auxiliary switch is turned on. That'll activate all the buttons we need over here for manual control. Now we'll engage continuous flow hydraulics in detent mode. Which with this outward button, you'll hear the hydraulics start hissing. Now it's engaged. I'm gonna lift the boom just to go over the functions. For your manual controls to angle the blade, you use this switch right here. And to tilt the blade, you use this switch right here. Very simple. Now let's go to the automatics, right? This is your control box. To power it on, you're gonna momentarily press it. Now it's on. This set of lights is for your left laser receiver. This set of lights is for your right laser receiver. Same thing with this left knob and this number is for your left laser receiver. This right knob and this right number is for your right laser receiver. You always want both numbers to be the same and you always want both masts to be at the same elevation. That way you don't introduce a slope to your grade that your laser isn't giving you. Now, these knobs, we use them to adjust our grade. So if it's at point, if it's at zero, that means that our receivers are picking up grade from the center of their windows. You can see that little mark in the middle right there. It's picking up grade right in the center. When we move this with the up arrow, we're bringing our pad up by that much in hundreds, right? So 0 0.08, or in other words, eight hundredths is an inch. So let's bring this back to zero. Now, whatever adjustment we do on this number, we want to do the same one on this number. Simple enough. Now I'm gonna lower my blade so that my receivers get a signal from the laser. You'll see both of them are getting a signal. Now, this is my auto manual switch. You'll see when I press auto, the screen will say auto and the blade adjusts to grade. If I flick it back, it goes to manual. If I go above grade with my boom and I hit auto, the blade goes down to grade. Simple as that. Now, whenever you're running the blade, you always want to make sure that your V-lock brackets are resting on the arm. So every couple of passes, sometimes the blade will drift forward due to uh, the, the weight of the blade or just it'll pitch forward because of the material. It'll just angle back and rest it on on the arm every couple of passes, nice and gentle. It's as simple as that, and that's it.